So here we have it, guys. We've we've just come to the end of this off grid install, and just thought I'd run you through basically how it all came together and what's in, what's what we've got here. So, um, so here we have uh, the complete masterpiece. Just give a moment of silence here for a minute, just to just to take it all in. Fucking beautiful. So what we got here. Firstly, is our, it's the heart of the system. So this is our Selectronic SPMC 482, seven and a half kilowatt uh, battery inverter. Um, it effectively takes uh, power from our battery bank, um, goes from an isolator up into the Selectronic, <coughs> converts DC to AC, and then through to our, our switchboard. Then next over from that, we've got our two ARL charge controllers there, just DC, um, DC to DC MPPT charge controllers. Um, they are a DC coupled arrangement. Um, so it's always good to have a bit of AC and DC coupling uh, in an off grid system just to prevent the black start, um, just to, any, to prevent any usage of the black start feature. Um, it sort of automatically black starts if they go, uh, if the battery bank goes dead. <clears throat> Nextly, we've got our Fronius. Um, this is actually a Selectronic certified Fronius Primo. Um, you can see it's sort of ramped right down at the moment because our batteries are at 100%. Uh, that's our AC coupled side of the system. So, yeah, so basically that's sort of how it all ties together. You've got your battery inverter, two charge controllers, AC coupled. Um, these charge controllers here, they go down through the DC isolators, through the battery isolators, over to our um, battery bank. These batteries are an Australian made, um, Power Plus Energy Eco, 48 volt lithium, lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, they're four kilowatt hours per module. Uh, I've got 40 kilowatt hour stack here, so you know, plenty of power. And um, outside on the, on the roof, I'll just show you here. There's a bit going on. So sort of basically got, it's a bit hard to see, but basically got a 19.3 kilowatt um, solar array, basically split up over the two charge controllers and uh, the Fronius uh, <coughs> solar inverter. Um, yeah, so this, this guy ain't gonna be running out of power too much at all. He sort of basically got enough power to do anything he wants really. You know, we're talking aircons, welders, the whole bit, so. Um, yeah, give us a like, give us a subscribe and uh, follow us.